Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban, that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, if your brake lights do not work, also known as stop lights, and you wonder what causes that, how to fix it, what we see quite often here at the garage, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use the good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out guys if the brake lights stop lights do not work what you need to check multiple things but first guys it could be super simple fix such as a bad fuse so we need to check some fuses it should work on both chevy taco and chevy suburban since they're built on the same platform but quick advice guys there are five different hidden fuse boxes in that suv that most people do not know where they're located that's why we made a special video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on chevy taco and chevy suburban go ahead and open the hood and when you guys open the hood here on the driver's side we have a fuse box you see right here under that cover open the cover and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here guys we need to check two fuses now okay and uh, let's zoom in so you can clearly see we're talking about fuse number two that's abs and brake light fuse check that one and then you need to guys for the brake lights you need to check fuse number 35 now fuse number 35 guys will be that 25 m fuse here now guys we need to check still more things and we're talking okay about multiple multiple uh, light fuses guys we're talking about fuse number 34 right here okay check that one fuse number 42 and 43 will need to be checked right there fuse uh, we will need fuse number 49 right here and relay 51 will need to be checked other things that can cause guys brake lights okay uh, stop lights not to work could be a bad brake light switch this is the device on the brake pad when you press the brake pad we detect if uh, it's pressed so we can activate the lights we have videos on our youtube channels how to test brake light switch and how to replace one as well guys uh, another thing if uh, uh, one of them doesn't work most likely is a bulb or defective light that you will need to replace so guys i want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses 
fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones, we put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.